Welcome back to our video tutorial series for Ghostbusters, the Scratch project. We had done, um, we, so far we have the one ghost, but its uh, location and size are randomized, as well as the duration of its apparitions. The next step of the project is the code for catching ghosts, or indeed, or indeed busting them. So that means just clicking on them, right? Uh, now you're going to add code to your game so that the player can catch ghosts. Can you make your ghost disappear when it's been caught? The player should be able to click ghosts to catch them. Right. And they don't really give you, I mean, they're a hint. When click it, your ghost sprite should hide. So it's actually fairly straightforward. So, now this is a different event. The thing that triggers your code, here we, it starts, it all, you remember what's at the top of your, of your chain of blocks. Is the event those are those yellow blocks with the the top bit that's rounded that's got this sort of tab look so we'll want when this sprite is clicked and we want to hide now the So this means, now remember, we, we, we probably, this is going to only going to happen whilst the ghost is shown. So like whilst the main, I'll call that the main animation loop, where we hide, wait, change position, change size, and then suddenly appear. And then there's a little window of time from 0 to 1.5 seconds where the ghost is visible. It can be clicked on. And then if it is clicked on, we want to hide. And that probably should be the end of it, because then, you know, it will... Thing. If you may want to, you know, take the ghost out of commission so that it's kind of, you know, you get rid of it for at least a couple of cycles of the loop, but that's 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 advanced. That'd be for a future challenge. So all ghosts is appearing and disappearing in random position and random sizes. It's not staying on for very long. Ooh, that was too short. Let's see if I can get it. Did I get it? I think I got it, but it's hard to tell because it sometimes it disappears naturally. So here's a, a good, I mean, this is a, I think, a good example. If you want to test something, let's just, let just have it say, or think something, so that we're, so that we, we know it's been clicked and it didn't disappear because of whatever. Now, this is why there's, a, there's something to add a sound and add a counter and so on, but we're not going to, let, let, let's make it think, ouch. And now I should be able to, oh, See, that's, it was, obviously the ouch stays forever, even at the, the, the subsequent operation. So anyway, that does work now. And actually, you can tell it works because um, within your code tab for your sprites, um, you'll get a yellow outline. I don't know if you can see very well, but like it's sort of highlighted in yellow for stuff that is running. So if I manage to click, if you look at what's going on in here, when I click, you'll see the when the sprite click and hide being suddenly shown in yellow. So this is to show that this code runs. Let's see what they told us. When clicked, your ghost sprite should hide. Your code should look like this, which is pretty straightforward, and this is what we've done. Challenge, add a sound. So that's a, a better idea than the one I had about making him say, him or her, making the ghost it say, ouch, we're gonna add a sound. So this is going to be sound, those are in that sort of other shade of purple, uh, red, redder, mm, mauve, perhaps. Um, let's have a, what kind of sound? Space ripple. Yeah, that's as good a sound as any. Nice. Now that sound, that sound is a little bit long. Up. Let me get back to the other microphone. Um, so this will play the sound until it's done. It will let the sound ring completely. If you go to the sounds tab, now remember the, the sounds you can play from those blocks are not are, are sounds that must exist 
in the sprite. So very much like in the looks code, you can change costumes, but you need to have those costumes existing for the sprite. Similarly, all of the cells that you can get a sprite to play need to exist in here. So the one that came with the ghost, as it, ha as it, as it were, is this one, which is, which is a bit slow. So I can maybe run it a little bit faster. And the other thing I'm going to do is stop all sound when we're just about to show so that it, you know, like, it doesn't overrun into the next cycle of the ghost. Let's test that. I'm just going to open so we can hear. Yeah, that's better. Because it's much quicker. And you saw, like, as it was reappearing, that cut the sound. I'm going to swap those around so it hides first, then plays the sound. Because it's plays sound space ripple until dawn, this blocks the, the actual running of the code, and it can't, get to the, it can't get to the hide block until the sound has played completely, which is, which is not good, because that means we want to hide like immediately on, immediately on, the, on the click. Yeah, that's better. All right, that's done, that was the challenge, and uh, I'll see you shortly in the next video to add a score.